Hello. Um, yeah, today is April 26. We are recording uh, the meeting of Shakut uh, uh, Africa contributor. Oh, yeah. So uh, we have several contributors on the call, and um, yeah, we'll just go through the updates, talk about uh, the close down of the event, um, and um, then uh, just agree on the uh, whatever you want to discuss. So. Yeah, I'll probably create a meeting notes uh, just in the bottom of uh, our running doc, if everyone is fine. Uh, I have no permission uh, to edit this doc, but it should be okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, just uh, close uh, down. Event, Pentia uh, Kony, maybe a quick progress updates. Okay, so let's start uh, from updates uh, by students. Mm, is it fine with everyone? The sound like was a very bad. I, I don't know who talk. I, I didn't get. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, Lucy is uh, away from the keyboard. Anyone else? Okay. I think what we can do, let's, uh, you can just type some uh, notes asynchronously. Uh, and yeah, let's talk about the close down of the event. Uh, so, uh, April uh, 30th um, is uh, the last day, and um, uh, it's just a few days left before that. So, I wanted to quickly talk uh, what is the best uh, to do during the last days. And actually, the best thing uh, to focus on is uh, finishing your work, because uh, all of you have uh, multiple open pull requests. Uh, so um, it would be better if you focus on finalizing them. So instead of creating new pull requests, etc., let's focus on delivering what has already started, because it's better uh, to complete less, but uh, to deliver that to Jenkins users. And yeah, my recommendation would be to do that. Uh, yeah. And yeah, sorry, I'm always making a lot of typos and I just woke up as you might have seen from my video. Um, yeah, and the second uh, thing uh, I oh, suggest. Uh, yes? Oh, regarding that, uh, I'm actually currently working on HTTP mm -hmm. requests plugin uh, and I should push latest at noon. So are you saying mm -hmm. I shouldn't push again? No, uh, you can uh, push uh, whatever you want. So again, it's a uh, focus on something. So for example, if you have five open pull requests and uh, the ball is on your side, for example, you need to make updates. Uh, I recommend to focus on that. Um, if uh, there are open pull requests, which are missing pull, uh, uh, which are missing reviews, again, uh, consider focusing on um, getting reviews, uh, ask help from the community, from mentors if needed, uh, so that uh, we could uh, get uh, this uh, pull request over the line. Uh, if you want, you can totally submit new pull requests. Uh, what I'm just saying that it shouldn't be uh, the top priority in this uh, stage. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, another thing uh, which makes sense uh, to consider that yeah, again we have several uh, uh, days left. What we usually do after such programs, uh, we do um, um, uh, blo uh, blog post with the report from the event. So, for example, in this case, uh, uh, it would be a blog post on, on Shakeout Africa. So many of you have seen uh, the Jenkins blog. And basically, uh, we would need some content uh, uh, for that. Uh, for example, uh, yeah, if you want to uh, share some experiences, 
uh, and uh, provide some quotes. Um, it's what you can do. So maybe in the synchronously, just by suggesting in this Google Doc. So for example, I will uh, create um, a section um, in the bottom. Uh, so it's, uh, let's see. For example, anyone, uh, all mentors um, and uh, students are invited to just put their notes there. For example, I can suggest my change. So you can uh, just uh, uh, put your feedback like that. And actually we can uh, have two items. So for example, uh, let's uh, finish uh, with this part. Uh, have you wrote, uh, have you written short testimonials before? Okay, I can, I can provide some examples. We have uh, a similar feedback for JSOC. Uh, so there is a Google doc called uh, JSOC user and mentor testimonials. We started just uh, several weeks ago. And you can find some examples of feedback we collected from uh, participants. So you can see that uh, this feedback was collected in video form or in text. You basically can do the same, uh, whatever you prefer. Um, so why we collect this feedback is because it's uh, really helpful and it helps us to improve. Uh, so just if you could uh, create a short quote, it would be uh, useful. Uh, so I will put examples here. Again, it shouldn't take much of your time, so it's just when you have uh, some time uh, uh, talk about your experiences and maybe more important part which you will need to do again not now but uh, gradually is retrospective so if you work in uh, agile environments you may have seen that uh, teams uh, uh, join together sometimes to discuss uh, what went well what could be done better and it's a very uh, good practice because it allows the team to iterate and improve how they collaborate with each, with each other and to improve their processes. And for each program we run uh, in Jenkins, we recommend to do a public retrospective. Um, and we basically invite everyone uh, to submit uh, the experiences for three items. So what uh, went uh, well, uh, what uh, did we do better, and the action items. So how it works, um, everyone uh, is welcome to just um, add really short quotes. Uh, for example, I want to say what went well and uh, uh, yeah, what could we do better? So for example, Alec, uh, we had uh, um, So something like that. And uh, yeah, this is rather good experiences. So usually they don't require too much discussion, but for example, uh, there are things uh, we could do better. And uh, this is also something we can add. Uh, so for example, I can say that uh, yeah, it needs uh, better engagement with wider Jenkins community. Again, it's uh, just example of the feedback. And for example, uh, yeah, we can start discussing it asynchronously so everyone can propose a change. So for example, uh, yeah, I can just clarify it a bit. Uh, well, it will be definitely part of my final feedback. So I think we can just discuss it. But uh, yeah, what we say, uh, that, yeah. Uh, 
выберем small public и could get Okay, so for example, yeah, I put uh, just one of my ideas uh, and uh, what uh, clarification. So for example, if you disagree and it's perfectly fine to disagree, you can just uh, put a comment uh, there or make your, make your suggestion. If you see other things we could do better, you can just again make a suggestion, add it to the list. And then we will be discussing what went well and what could we do better. And we will be defining action items for the future. So for example, I can propose, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, okay, so for example, uh, do contribute on the introductions at the uh, docs seek meeting. So, for example, uh, we can discuss this section, uh, this feedback, and uh, agree on an action item for the next year, so that uh, we make the program better. So, this is a quick example of how we do retrospectives. And again, uh, no need to do it right now, uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, please, I guess uh, this this is going to be discussed in a Friday yeah, right. meeting, so uh, better to feel it better uh, before. Uh, Friday, right. I mean. Yeah. yeah, it's better to do it synchronously because uh, meetings happen uh, quite rarely and the time is not uh, convenient uh, for all participants. So if you do it synchronously, you can just uh, chat with the entire community. So um, please uh, feel free to put uh, any ideas here and uh, yeah, on Friday we will discuss them. Well, I'm not sure I will be able to join. It's super late in my time zone. Okay, so does uh, do these follow-ups uh, make sense to you? Yes, Sorry, I didn't yeah, understand. Yeah, it does. It does. Okay, so. Yep, here uh, I'm just uh, making note. Okay, any questions about the closed down days? So uh, the retrospective uh, will be done on Friday, right? Or was supposed to, to write them down? Yeah, so anything you have in mind, uh, just put uh, it here. So it ha doesn't have to be prioritized or whatever. It doesn't uh, need to be fancily written because again, we can discuss everything. Uh, so we'll just uh, put notes, etc. Usually when uh, big teams do retrospectives, so they vote on the ideas, on the discussion so that uh, we can uh, get more feedback. I don't think we will be doing that for Shekot Africa because we have only a few participants so we can just discuss them the things on the call, uh, but yeah, uh, it's still essential to put your notes and your experiences there so that we can improve. And I'm pretty sure that uh, um, Africa organizers will be also asking for your feedback in some form after the event. So yeah, you can basically start preparing that. So just to clarify, they should all write this up before the Friday meeting and then it will be discussed more in the Friday meeting yep. when we find, right? Mm -hmm. Does that, that make sense to everybody? Yes. So maybe for this particular session, uh, we could add an additional item to the retrospectives is obstacles uh, experienced. So you are a newcomer contributors in the Jenkins community. You may have seen some issues with developer tools, with documentation, with processes. So 
if you see something like that, uh, yeah, please put them there because it would be a really valuable feedback to us as a community. We don't always see issues because you know, we work on this project for years or for decades like me and Mark. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think it would be important to get your feedback so that we can again create action items and improve it gradually. And yeah, if you want uh, to share your experiences in any format, for example, write your own blog post, et cetera, it, all of that is much appreciated. So whatever you want to do, again, uh, just do that. All right, that's noted. Sorry? I, I didn't understand. But yeah, that's noted. And be honest, if there's anything that you're concerned about that you're uncomfortable writing for everybody, um, I would feel free to send a Slack message just to Mark or to any one of us actually. But uh, yeah. I want you to feel that you can be honest and we don't want to make you uncomfortable, but we just wanna, yeah. as Oleg says, we wanna make it so that next year's people have a better experience. So we're always trying to improve things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so again, if you say that something uh, went bad, no repercussions at all. Yes. Uh, we are looking for feedback. So it's not something like it will really influence anything. And uh, yeah. actually, any negative feedback is also appreciated as long as it's justified and actionable. OK. Mm -hmm. uh, so for example uh, there are ways uh, there are multiple uh, ways to share that uh, for example um, uh, if you want to share feedback with organizers so it's uh, she could africa uh, or for example you can uh, share feedback with mark wait uh, uh, for internal stuff and uh, you can also share feedback with the Jenkins governance board uh, if something uh, went uh, wrong. Well, hopefully not, uh, but yeah, as uh, things happen in the community, unfortunately not often at all. But for example, we have code of conduct. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether uh, Mark uh, referenced to that in the beginning, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, all contributors are expected to follow this code of conduct. And if something goes wrong, for example, if you get, uh, let's say, a toxic uh, response in your pull request or whatever, yeah, you can uh, report that so that uh, Jenkins governance board can uh, follow up. Uh, no need uh, to postpone that because, again, we are trying to improve the community. And again, there will be no repercussions or whatever because uh, uh, yeah, that's how the Jenkins community works. Okay, does it make sense? And yeah, I'm yes. a Jenkins governance board member. So if you have some feedback and not sure, please uh, feel free to reach out to me privately. All right. Okay. Okay. And is everybody doing well with the work you're doing? Um, Lucy, what happened? I looked at the end of Friday's session. You had a problem. Mark was going to rerun. Did that clear up your problem? Lucy sent the message that she's AFK. So I'm not sure whether she's back. Ah. Okay, uh, there okay. is a question uh, from Esther. Could we still contribute after this program? Uh, of course, yes. Uh, so you're welcome to contribute to the Jenkins uh, project uh, at any time, as well as pretty much everybody else. Uh, so yeah, if you want to keep contributing, please do so, whether it's related to Shikota uh, Africa or not. Uh, we also consider participating in more outreach programs uh, so, for example, uh, yeah, you might be eligible for some of them. 
Uh, so, as we discussed before, Shikota Africa contribute on participants might be technically eligible for Google Summer of Code, but the application um, deadline is closed. At the same time, uh, there are other events. So, for example, um, yeah, there will be Hattoberfest in October, there will be Outreach um, in winter. So, um, the application phase for summer is also uh, closed. Um, then. Hopefully next year we will be accepted to Google Season of Talks. This year we were not accepted. And there is also Community Bridge, um, also known as LFX Mentorship. So Jenkins Project can run its own outreach programs on demand, and we can run the, our mentorship programs on demand. So you can uh, try one of these programs if you're interested, and you can just reach out to the community. Uh, for example, there is documentation I seek, uh, uh, and uh, you can contact it um, so that uh, if you need help at any moment, you can use uh, this channel to get feedback and probably get some mentorship. Uh, and for example, we can uh, uh, we are meeting sometimes, so you can use uh, this meeting again uh, uh, for the discussion and any question. There is also um, a channel called um, Newcomer Contributors, um, which you can use because again, uh, for asking any kind of questions. We will be happy to help and to point you to the right channels if needed. Okay, I hope it answers your question. Yes, it does. Okay. We would love to have you stay in the community. Yeah, of course. So yeah, the main objective for us, uh, for uh, Africa contribution for other events, firstly, to provide a great experience to participants, to let them uh, learn. It's uh, the first priority. Second priority is to introduce them to open source communities and uh, to get them onboarded to the Jenkins community, if possible, uh, or maybe to other open source community because it's also equally available. Um, and yeah, the third pri priority is actually to deliver something. So. Yeah, personally, when I organize event, say I mostly focus on experiences, and I encourage you to do so as well. Okay. Okay, so we have a few minutes left. Are there any questions, uh, help needed uh, with pull requests, etc.? Um, yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Yeah, I made a few requests uh, yesterday on adding code examples, and then I don't know how it happened, but then it looks like it includes also other commits from another branch. So I don't know how to remove those commits. They, yeah, you could help me with that. Does that make sense? The audio is a bit too low for me. I'm not sure whether I captured the question correctly. Yeah, I'm having trouble hearing too. Could you oh, can you hear me? Okay, so you prefer to write it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, because yeah, I really didn't follow. So um, I guess helping with the pull request, but yeah, you didn't understand which one. Uh, sorry about that. I think uh, uh, audio is better
Uh, did you post uh, the question? Oleg, we are seeing all your computer. I don't know if it's yeah, that's intended. perfectly yeah, fine. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I usually turn off Slack, but in this case, I'm just sending a message to the channel. I made a pull request for code examples uh, to workflow basic steps plugin. Uh, when I push commits, I found out that it includes other commits from another branch. How can I remove them? So yeah, in this case, you would need to rebase uh, the branch. Um, um, and uh, yeah, for that, uh, there are uh, tools um, in uh, um, uh, Jenkins. Sorry, in Git, I can uh, show you a few examples. Uh, just a second. Okay, uh, so for that, actually, uh, there are uh, two common tools. One is a Git rebase. Another one is uh, cherry pick. And actually, for the most common cases, I recommend um, the latter one. So how it works. Uh, you have a tree, and from this tree, you can uh, take a particular commit. So, for example, I can uh, show you an example in the web in, in the UI because it's easy, but you can do the same in the command line interface. Where's my where's the stream? Okay, so for example, um, I have Jenkins remoting, so I won't commit it anywhere. And you can see that uh, there is just a master branch which includes a few pull requests. Let's imagine I want to port something to the previous release. So here, for example, I will create a branch, uh, for example, 641. Uh, yeah, and here, for example, I want to take a commit. So you can see that if I just merge uh, the tree, I will get uh, all the history of commits. So it's probably the case you've got. Because yeah, most likely you just start building a new branch on the top of the wrong branch. And here, what I can do, for example, if I want to take a specific commit like this one, I can call a cherry pick command. So what it does is basically it takes the same commit contents and applies you them to your current branch. So I uh, got it here, and now you can see that I have a new branch uh, remoting uh, for six one. And then it includes just one commit I cherry picked. Then I can push this branch to my fork and submit a pull request just with this content. It's one of the ways. Another way um, would be to do rebase, but yeah, to be honest, I recommend cherry pick in this case because it's much uh, more simple. Does it answer your question? Yeah, in the case of cherry pick, you would need to recreate the pull request or to force push the branch, which is also possible because you can uh, take the original name, uh, rename this branch, and then do a force push and overwrite your pull request. Okay, does it answer the question? Okay. Yes. Okay, anything else for today? Um, okay, then if no other questions, thanks everyone. And to talk to you on Friday. I will uh, try to join the final meeting. If not, uh, Angelic, uh, uh, Mac and Mark will be able to handle that. And thanks again for all your contributions. So yes, let's. Thanks. Uh, it's been a real joy. Yeah. Uh, I am happy to confirm that. So let's uh, focus on finishing the program and yeah, celebrate that uh, once we are done. Okay. okay.
Thank you Thanks all. And see, all you right. on, Thank you. see you on Slack. Okay. Bye. Yes, see you on Slack. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye, all. Bye. Bye. Bye.